All right, you guys All ready right. to do this? Yeah. yeah, let's have a beer. All right, how's everybody Good. doing? How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Hey, we're, Good. we're doing <laughs> a lot less doing. toasty than last week. Yeah, uh, it's comfortable in the garage today. Well, <laughs> well, welcome to the Couch Co-op. I'm Ian, and I got Jared, Dave, and Aaron with me as always. Hello. Uh, Hello. The Couch Co-op is the show where we uh, we drink a beer and we talk about it for 20 to 30 minutes. <laughs> Oh yeah. We want That's you to right. join us and, and you know, so if you uh if you want to have a beer, Jared, tell them what beer we're, you're having this week. <laughs> we have the Blue Moon Belgian White. Yeah. Mm. Well, let's let's just get to it. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's talk more beer. And right. one, two, three, crack 'em. Oh, crack a lacquer. I'm just. Hmm. Mm. I haven't had this in a while. Mm-hmm. It's been a long time since I've had this beer. Blue Moon Belgian White, Belgian style wheat ale, a wheat beer brewed with orange peel for a subtle sweetness and bright citrus aroma. Uh, garnish with orange slice. Anyone garnishing? We're all, all too lazy for that. <laughs> I like yep. that. Is anyone blue pouring blue. it in a glass? Some people yep. are. I'm not. I'm nope. just drinking out of the can. Straight up can it. You got two cans. I and... always remember about this beer is that it was one of those ones that was trying to act like it was micro-brewed, even though it was brewed by, like, is it Molson Coors? Yeah, <laughs> Molson Coors, that's well, right. Not yeah. originally, though, right? Yeah, or has it always been? The, it's always been. It's one of the brewers came up with the recipe. doesn't make it a, not a good beer. It's just interesting the way it was packaged. That is weird because the, the website is Blue Moon Brewing Company. Yeah, yeah, it's a subsidiary. I think it's a subsidiary of Molson Coors, though, because they're the they. I remember them talking about that when the merger happened. Like they absorbed a lot of companies. But I think what Dave's was, saying is that it's always been. They just made up a company, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much oh. what my reading. Huh. I must. I was reading the Wikipedia site earlier as well, and okay. it seemed to imply the same thing because. The guy who came up with the recipe was head head brewer. <laughs> uh, I must have said brewer, that. Pink but... I don't. I don't think they've changed their can since it came out. Oh, uh, uh, it, it originated in bottles, I believe. Yeah, so yeah. Other, yeah. Other than that, you know, everything's going to cans. They've probably had cans of it for quite a while now, but I bought this specifically in a 15 pack, so it's uh, still abroad and very easy to get anywhere. Yeah, it's a lovely beer. Holy cow, yeah. though. I mean, Blue Moon, I mean, it might, this, they have brewed a shit ton of beers, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've yeah, had, all, like, all sorts of seasonals, agave, and... yeah, for, yeah, uh, yeah, tons of seasonals. For not an actual real brewing company. <laughs> 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 they have a lot yeah. of... Yeah, they got to keep up with the competition. It's, it's kind of like Newcastle Brown that we did the other week, you know, they brewed a few that, um, you know... But that was a real brewery at one time. Yeah, yeah, and log it, and Heineken swallowed them up. Um, yum, yum. So I just remember this beer. This is like the this was like the next wave of wheat. You know, the hef hef thing, cra- the craze hit, and everyone was mm-hmm. drinking hef. And then this beer came on the scene, and then everyone started drinking this with the orange slice, and everyone was buying pictures of it. And mm-hmm. the the ladies, the the female persuasion, tend to really like this beer. Yeah, this was a beer that was that was I kind of remember that that it was it was trying to expand people's beer palettes. You know, it was one of the first ones I remember tasting of that was a Belgian white. Incredibly popular so, for a long time, dude. Like for like a few Wid- years. Widmer Hef, Widmer Hef had the market cornered for a long, long time before this came out. Yeah, right, right, oh, yeah. right. But I just remember then this was like another wave of that. Like, Hef became passe, and everyone was ordering Blue Moon for a long time. I just remember that. Well, I I just remember I was living out in Baltimore when I first encountered it. So it was, and, you know, Widmer Hef wasn't really a thing out there back in the early 2000s. So. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, this is definitely around 2000, uh, i say around 2005, 2006, I worked at Columbia. <laughs> Viewing it, brewing it, uh, debuting it. That's what it was. 
honestly, it's that bad. It's <laughs> nice and light, but it's it's a lot sweeter than Hef. Yeah, yes. it's a very yeah. sweet beer. I yeah, do feel is. like I don't feel like uh, I could drink a six pack of it. It mm. might get a little too sweet. It's it's still cloudy, but it's not. It doesn't have the sediment like uh, that. Well, like Widmer Hef has. Right. Yeah. Five four though. It's pretty decent. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely. Uh, I, I couldn't do a six pack of this. I mean, I used to, but then I discovered other beers, and then other beers. I've and... never been a big wheat ale guy, so. Yeah. I like him once in a while, but yeah, I'd agree with you. I mean, I would have one of these, but I always go back to. I mean, always go if, back to IPAs and stouts. And if someone bought like a twenty-four right. pack of this in a in a cooler and I was stuck on a boat, I would drink it constantly. I mean, come on, I'm a drunk. <laughs> I'll drink well, it. I, <laughs> I just only, it wouldn't only, be my choice. The only other thing right. that I would say to that is, it, I also feel like it's not a beer that you could drink all day. You know, like pub beer or something like that where you can just drink you can drink it until you run out i might this, be able to drink it all day i, find, I wouldn't i feel like this would this would uh get too heavy on your stomach after no, probably while. you know not not the alcohol the, the alcohol's about right what's the I calories the on this fucker the sweetness of it and all the rest of it would just begin to kind of turn you a bit how yeah, fat will does, this beer make it, you it, it does go down <laughs> really easily. 60 calories a 68 cal- 168 calories. Oh, it's pretty intense. Um, yeah. It's... If you're worried about the calories, just drink whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> or vodka. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, I... This isn't bad wheat ale. Honestly, if I had to choose this for Widmer, though, it'd probably have to go to Widmer, honestly, because this is a little too sweet. It's not... It, which is not a bad thing. The sweet beer, sweet can be good in some situations, but I like and a beer with a little more bite. You're also tasting like the coriander and the other stuff yeah. that's in there. Yeah, yeah I was right. noticing a big hit of coriander. Yeah, it's, well, not, it's... it's not straight beer. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. We, we've we been talking about some other beer. Uh, the coriander thing is okay in this one because it's. I don't think it's as strong, but New Belgium yeah. has a... No, it's well balanced. New Belgium has a coriander beer. Was that the regular yeah. Ranger? No, it's I. What is that one that has the heavy coriander taste? One of their beers has like a crazy coriander taste, and I cannot stand it. Uh, yeah, the, I know, I know the one you mean. I've had the it, one, like... the one that I really love that has coriander is the Deschutes uh, Chainbreaker White IPA. Oh uh, yeah, that's a that's good, one. but that's also very light too. Yeah, I, I feel like when it's oh, what are you talking about? It's I think it's called Shift. I think no, it's, it's not Alton. Shift. New Belgium. No. no, no, that's made by New Belgium. It's called Shift. No, I know, but it's not. It wasn't. Yeah. Or it's oh, not. It I wasn't that it. beer. Okay, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, there used to be one that that was like I remember, but I just can't remember what it was called. I used to come uh, in that variety pack, and I would always hate drinking it. I, I don't uh, know. I like the flavor of coriander. In I, I, it's okay beer. if it's light, oh. but like it gets nasty. Yeah. I think. Okay, maybe I just haven't had that one. No, I just we've remember. all had it. I just can't yeah. think of. Okay. So oh. when I was when I first started blank too. started brewing, um, it was probably a year or two, like after. Uh, you know, I was brewing beer, and we decided we were going to brew some like winter ale, you know, coriander and all sorts of stuff in, and we just got the quantity so wrong. It was it was miserable. We ended up pouring half of it out because it was just undrinkable because of the amount of coriander and other spices yeah. we put in. <laughs> That's disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was like coriander, yeah. ginger. We because we didn't. Yeah, you know, we went. Oh yeah, you exactly were really sure trying to spice we it, up. it. Yeah, we put we we went we went in the spice cabinet and just you know cleared the shelf pretty much and put it all in. Oh man, Ugh. that does not sound fun or good. And it got, and it was a, like a nine percent beer as well. It was a nice strong one. Oh, we kept on hoping that it would mellow out, but it never did. I'm never gonna find this beer. <laughs> uh, it was one of the know. new Belgium. Um, it wasn't the 18. 
1554 was it or whatever they call that oh, the well, there's also the mothership wet no um, it wasn't that or the triple no nope. oh yeah there's nope. also a double no nope. nope. i gotta find a it might not be made anymore so i gotta find uh, yeah there is that uh, it used to be yeah. in like the variety pack i i uh, i it's was... There was one. It was like me with. I'm. I trying it, to think. Cause... Cause get sued as well about this because they called it a Belgian white, and originally it didn't say made in the USA on the can. And oh, you know, that that sounds right. Yeah. And that and then they got I think uh, New Belgium as well because it's got Belgium on the can apparently, you know. And then the uh... European Union were got all fussy because they're always fussy about like things with name. You know, geographic names. <laughs> mm hmm yeah, Campaign of France, Dodge of Scotland. Um Oh well. Yeah. I can't Um when you mention you know, I forgot to. We forgot. Oh, it's okay. We're we're we'll we'll deal with it at the end. But uh, we have a voice message from Nick DeWin, and uh, you guys, have, you guys, you guys haven't heard the message, but you'll have to listen to the episode to hear the message. Yep. But he uh, re he recommends a bunch of beers, and then uh, oh man, we got another Ooh, recommendation for a beer. <laughs> so uh, oh man, but we'll deal with that at the end uh, as we finish drinking this beer. Yep. We will acquire all the beers. So Jared, do you drink? You haven't. Were you a, a fond drinker of this beer for a while, and you just haven't had it in a long time? Do you used to drink it a lot? No, no, I didn't used to drink it a lot. I think the last time I had it was when we went to like Hollywood Bowl a long time ago. Oh jeez, uh, you know, and we were we were drinking some beers at Hollywood Bowl in Portland. That was a long and, fucking time. Uh, ago. I had some Blue Moon, and I, I think that was the last time I had that in like the early thousands or whenever the hell that was. I don't know. Uh, no, no, it's been a long, it could have no, been then. not that long ago. Yeah, <laughs> mid, mid it was, thousands. It was so. Actually, this good point though. Uh. Bryn, so Bryn like drank a lot of this type of beer back when we first started dating, and I think that bowling because I, I think Oscar and Brad were there. I think there was or Aaron might have been there too. Yeah, yeah we, we had a lot of people there. I've been there before. Yeah, with you guys. We I went bowling that. one time. I remember that bowling. Anyway, uh, I never really cared for this beer, so I like I never really drank it. But Bryn would always drink it, so I would get it for her. So it was either this right. or Coors Light, you know, Coors Light with a lime yeah. or Blue Moon with an orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that that's the last time I had this. Um yeah. Many, many moons ago. Yeah, I remember the last time I had this. I was at a basketball game and we got it uh watching this Blazer Spurs game and I couldn't finish all the way because I was getting like super faint I was having Mr. really bad allergies to it. <laughs> a hurricane brewing. I feel no, like it gets it sweeter like... as you drink it. I feel like it's getting yeah. sweeter. <laughs> Definitely getting that kind of mouth, mouth feel. Yeah. I feel like this well, is a very good introdu introductory beer, though. If you like this, it might be worth exploring some of the more other Belgian whites out there. Yeah. Yeah. I like so... a lot of different Belgian beers. You know what I yeah, didn't realize? Belgium. I thought Fat Tire was not a Belgian white. I thought Fat Tire was like an amber or some shit. It is yeah, amber. Amber. So, yeah. but so I was just on New Belgium. So they must have a fat tire Belgian white then. Oh, yeah, it's like a, they, like I, a may, yeah, I know they. Well, that's why they call New Belgium. Oh, oh. They do a lot of. Yeah, but why would they call it actually fat tire Belgian white? I don't know, but they do a lot. It's they do like a mix of Belgian beers, and then they do more. They call fat tire an amber ale. Yeah, right here, yeah. but I'm, I'm literally looking okay, at New yeah. Belgium Fat Tire Belgian White. Yeah. I'm literally looking at it right now. Uh, so they must have a... A variant. A, a, a variant. Hmm. I know at a certain time of the year they do a different one, too. It's like um, this... That one is Accumulation, which is a... a anyway. White Ale, kind of like the Chain Breaker. And then they also have another one. It's called um, Tubalo as well. That one's a darker winter ale, I remember right too. Yeah. It is it's very orangey too, man. That it, it gets very orangey. Like I don't why would you need an orange in this beer to set off the citrusness of this beer when it is already incredibly citrusy? 
Yes, it is quite a citrusy beer, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Maybe it's just because we started drinking so many IPAs or like hazy IPAs that have citrus hops that like now we're right. incredibly sensitive to it. But like, it smells lovely though. It does smell lovely. Right. No, it does smell great. But like, I I would not need an orange in this. Like, it's you don't need it to set off the. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that 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 is enough. It's very citrusy, not so weedy, sweet. If 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 you want a Swedish beer, like sweet-ish, like kind of sweet, kind of not. We said Swedish for a moment. <laughs> Swedish fish. Well, <laughs> No, it, that's that. This is the beer to go to if you want that sort of thing. But it's up to whoever wants it. Really, I mean, if you want so, it, get it. All right, there is. Okay, I just scrolled down. There is the fat tire Belgian white, and then there is the fat tire amber. So is it, there is a weird variant exists out there. Interesting. Huh. Weird. <laughs> Interesting. I see it once in a moon, but it's not very hot. I've never seen it in the wild. Anyway, uh, boys, where do you want to rate this beer? Uh, I think we're all going to go here. I think we're... What is that, two yeah, thumbs up? S- s- sideways, <laughs> so yeah, two two sideways. out of four. <laughs> two out of four there. Yeah. Jared, Basically, what... I'm... Oh, go ahead, Dave. Uh, I, I feel like... If, they, if you know, I would drink this, it wouldn't be the first beer I'd choose out of the cooler, but it wouldn't be the last. Not going right. to buy it, but not going to turn it down. Yeah. <laughs> I'd give it a higher rating if it didn't make my allergies go off after finishing Do all off. wheat beers make your allergies go off? No, it's just this one for some reason, and I don't know why. I think it's the it might be the coriander in it, because I know I'm fine with wheat beers. I love I, I love Widmer and I love the uh, other wheat beers out there. I think it's the coriander because oranges I'm good with. Maybe wheat it's, beers I'm fine with. Maybe it's the semen they put in it. I'm just kidding. Asterix, don't they don't put semen in this beer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jared, what game are you pairing? What game are you pairing Blue Moon with? This sounds like a fantasy RPG. It does, Let's see. It? Metroid Prime 4. Oh, that's not where I was going, but okay. That's a Metroid Prime 4 that doesn't it's, exist. It's, <laughs> yes, it, uh, it's a game that makes everybody blue every moon that passes. <laughs> oh, wow. You thought about it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought it was, uh, oh, as a, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was the game that gives everyone blue balls and then it's never comes. It's not the I, I feel that there's been many, 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 many blue moons since the last Metroid Prime came out. So I, you can't say uh, it's a game I wish would come out at least once a blue moon. But uh, it's a game that's made lots of fans very blue every In the balls. day that passes. Yeah. Since the announcement, blue what, ball. five years ago? Whenever the hell the Switch first trailer came out, they're like, yeah, Metroid Prime 4, woo! Sooner than ba- like, it was sooner than Bayonetta 3. <laughs> Yeah, kind of like Bayonetta 3. <laughs> Go Nintendo. Nintendo, well, don't game give a fuck. Video games yeah. are hard. Video yeah. games are hard. Yeah. Put that glaze yeah. on there. Yeah, put that glaze. All right, uh, so I promised it. Oh, and my camera shut down again. Awesome. Um, are you serious only overheating right now? Oh, I'm so done with this iPhone. This iPhone is like in the shitter. Anyway, uh, so let's give a moment. We have a we have a voice message from our good friend Nick DeWin. Here it is. Hey guys, it's Nick. Um, don't mind the allergies. Um, so Aaron mentioned on the last episode, uh, he briefly mentioned the uh, Alaskan Brewing Summer Ale, which I wasn't sure if it still existed or not. Uh, seems like it does, but near but it's now available year round as Kolsch. Not sure if I pronounced that correctly or not, but that was going to be one that I was going to suggest for you guys. Um, with it being summer, maybe even try some summer ales like uh, Sam Adams Summer Ale. Um, I'm not sure if the shoot still has Twilight, but if they do, give that one a shot. Um, another year round beer that probably fits well with summer is Firestone Walkers 805. Uh, other than that, that's all I've got for now. So I uh, look forward to the next episode. All right, there's that message from Nick. Thanks, Nick, for sending in Thanks, yet Nick. another message. Awesome. 
You're the best, Nick. We You're will the best. hunt it down like a dog. We'll hunt right. it down, or perhaps you will hunt down the beers and give them to us. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. um, and Sorry. then what we're also dealing with in beer, aside from beer recommendations, we were also given another beer recommendation from my good friend Tracy. She lives in uh, well, where is she living right now? I think she's down in like New Mexico or Arizona. Oh, so she she's down there. Cold beer, but she's. she's mo- I think she, I think she's moving back up to Portland, Vancouver area soon. But she recommended. Uh, a beer uh, that we were having a hard time hard time finding, but she recommended Voodoo Ranger 1985, um, and so we're trying to find that beer. We hope to do that beer, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. We will acquire it <laughs> <laughs> one way or the other. Um, but until then, until we do those recommendations, as soon as we get those beers, until then, Dave, you're up to bat. What is your next beer? It's been so long since I looked at it. I it's not Kieran. Earlier. Yeah, I know it's Singer. <laughs> <laughs> Which is an Indian lager. It's, 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 oh, no, actually. Thai, it's not Indian. So. It's Thai. It's a Thai lager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thai, yeah. thai lager. Uh, I think you'll like it. So. Yeah, I we'll love see. I love the Asian lagers. So hopefully. Yeah. My yep. first time. My first time. We'll my first time, too. Your first time, Jared? Yeah, I've never had it. Right. Yeah. Dave, have you been wow. having well, Dave's had it probably. I, Thanks, Dave. I, I remember going like to the Thai restaurant in St. Helens, which is not exactly the cultural capital of the world. <laughs> and they had it. Um, <laughs> and they had it there, yeah. <laughs> so, well, yeah. most of us are virgins. Dave's getting it in all holes. So, uh, Break it to us gently, Dave. <laughs> Break um, it in our holes gently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, well, boys, uh, let's wrap this up. I'm sure Jared has got shit to do. <laughs> he needs to get out of yeah. the garage. And uh, the rest of us probably just need to get another beer. So for the yep. Couch Co-Hop, I'm Ian. Thanks to Jared, Dave, and Aaron. Oh, oh Peace out. Yeah. Uh, you can find us on Twitter uh, at, what is it, Couch underscore Hop. Leave us messages. None of you do. We hope someday you, that you will. I am very happy that some of you, like Tracy, for instance, she reached out to me. She's an old friend of mine, but she follows my YouTube page. So she listened slash watched us on my YouTube page and left a comment. So that was awesome. I really appreciate yeah. that, Tracy. Yeah. Um, and obviously Nick, watch. Uh, he's been listening on whatever platform he listens, but he's been leaving us messages. If you go to anchor.fm slash the couch co-hop show, you can leave actual voice messages that will get emailed to me, and then we can put them on the show. It's super awesome, super easy, and we hope some of our listeners reach out and uh, recommend us do a beer through that avenue. Anyway, you can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Google, Amazon, all those places. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, Until next time, remember, drink responsibly. Mm, Couch go up! Good night. Good night. Well, I'm going to scoot because I want to get to Costco before they close. But right. uh, any time after four o'clock on Friday, you're welcome to come over. Anyone who's available, anyone who wants to. <laughs> <laughs>